Shalom Israel. All praise, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, the bond to the apostles, the elders of a great millstone, and Shalom to the elect men, uh, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity. All right, and, um, you know, I was just thinking upon, because I was, you know, looking up some uh, news on World War Three, and, uh, you know, right now we're living in some exciting times, man. You know, we're living in some exciting times, man. All right, like I said, you got World War Three brewing up. All right, where all these nations, including America, is gonna go into the Middle East. All right, through Saudi Arabia and and um, basically the uh, the so-called Arabs and and the so-called um, Jews um, going to war. All right, because they have big brothers being, you know, Iran. Um, you know, back in the uh, you know, I Iran. Having his little brother um, in there, the Iranians, all right, because the Iranians is, is, is out there uh, going to war with the is Israelis too, man, all right? And then you got America's, all right, little bros, all right, being these so-called uh, Jews, them gutter rats over there, all right? So World War Three is brewing up. Um, I was I read this. It says Iran is ready to attack Israel, all right? So all of this is happening at this uh, present time, man. So, like the scriptures say, rejoice and be glad. Well, you know, rejoice and be glad, Israel. You know? There's Isaiah chapter 43, um, in verse 11. I, even I, am Yahweh, and beside me there is no Savior. All right, and this message goes to the elect of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Most High, Yahweh, and His Son, not Jesus Christ, but His real name being Yahweh Shai, is our savior. All right. Yahweh Shai, Yah meaning he. Yahweh Shai mean uh, the savior. I have declared and have saved. And I have shewed when there was no strange God among you. All right. Going back into old Egypt, man. What? The Most High. All right. Through the hand of Moses. Was the Most High through the hand of his prophets. The men of great millstone. Starting with the apostles and elders of on, on down. All right. Through us. All right, he's bringing this man down. All right. Um, I'm going to get real quick. Revelations. Wait, no. Actually, I'm going to get... Is that 43 I had? Is that 42? And one, behold my servant... Whom I uphold, mine elect, and whom my soul delighteth, I put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles, and that's what we're doing, all right, by doing these epistles online, as well as on, out there in the camp, on, out there in the highways and byways, in the chief places of concourse, all right. Exalting our for, exalting our voice, that they may go into the gates of the nobles, man, all right, because the spirit we pushing out. All right, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai coming back. All right, and along with that, what on, on his return, you're gonna have all these things coming upon the earth, man. So that's why prophecy is moving even further, man. Which is way, you know, also why it's beautiful that brothers is pushing even harder. You know, the scriptures say, give he, give him no rest that he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. All right, so these wars that's brewing up is what furthering, all right, our redemption. For the most high Yahweh Shah to come back. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to come back. Alright, so this is back. You know, actually I'm gonna start because this this whole chapter is good. Isaiah 43 and 9. I meant one, so lock, I'm gonna start at the top and just, you know, go through it, because this whole chapter is good. But now thus saith Yahweh. That created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, Israel. All right, so the Most High is not for the whole world, but it's for Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. All right, and who else is doing that but us, man? All right. We are calling you by your real name. Judah being the so-called um, African Americans. Levi being the so-called Haitians. Benjamin being the so-called West Indians. 
on down, even from being the so-called Puerto Ricans, Simeon being the so-called Dominicans, Manessa being the so-called Cubans, Zebulon being uh, so-called uh, Guatemalan instead of Panamanians, all right? Asher being uh, South America, man. The South Americans, man. Uruguay, the, um, uh, you know, Venezuela, all right? Um, you know, just different uh, Belize, uh, Brazil, some of them Brazilians over there. All right, Naftali being um, Argentina and Chile. Gat being the so-called North American Indians. Ruben being the Seminole Indians. Issachar being the uh, so-called Mexicans, man. All right. And you know the Most High is coming to bring us out of this place, man. All right. So it says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire... Thou shalt not be burnt, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. All right, and like I said, man, you go back to Isaiah 42, this is predominantly talking about the elect. What well, is talking about Israel, but through the elect, as is, as is written in Romans, uh, you know, through the elect, you know, all of Israel going to be saved. For I am Yahweh, thy power, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave, I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee, and people for thy life. Alright, so, just like back in Egypt, the Most High killed for us, man. Alright, he killed off the Egyptians, man, that hardened their heart against us. All right. What it is, back in Egypt, the Most High hardened their heart so he can show his power. And that's how it's going to be now, man. Alright, he, he hardened, uh, you know, the, these elites heart so he can show his power. All right, here it is now, man. Everybody looks up into America as being that. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. All right, because we scattered throughout the all, all, all four corners. I will say to the north, give up, and to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Even everyone that is called by my name, for I am called... I have called him by my glory, I have formed him, yet I have made him. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf that have ears, the elect. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the people assemble, be assembled. Who among them can declare this and shew us former things? Let them bring forth their witnesses that they may be justified or let them hear and say it is truth. Yeah. Ye are my witnesses, saith Yahweh, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there. But people's going to be amazed at the, tra the strangeness of their salvation, man. All right, you got so-called black. Because you're going to have, you know, uh, so-called black men in them chariots, man. You're going to have so-called black men being beamed up. You know, and that's a strangeness, man. And nobody would have thought that, man. All right, but when it comes, all right, everybody's going to believe. I even I am the Yahweh, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and saved, and I have shewed. There was no strange God among you. Therefore, you are my witnesses, saith Yahweh, that I am God. All right, because it's prophesied that in the last days, um, them gods ain't going to help you out, man. All right, it's a lot, a lot of two-thirds are going to die by their idols, as the scriptures say, man. You know? And uh, I believe that's Ezekiel 6 chapter. It said, yeah, before the day was I am he. Before the day was, I am he. And there was none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work and who shall let it? Thus saith Yahweh, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake, I have sent to Babylon and have brought down all their nobles and the Chaldeans whose cry is in, his, in the ships. And you know, this uh, verse especially stuck out to me because uh, the Chaldeans being in America and their cries in their ships. All right. And, you know, prior to um, Britain and um, you know, Salakia, prior to these Edomites, all right, which is how they built America upon slavery prior, prior to them coming over here on their ships. All right. Prior to them coming over here on their ships. All right. This place was fine. There was no uh, oppression. There was no disease. There was no chemtrails. 
There was no GMOs. All right, but after Esau came over here on the ships, which, you know, I I, I was um thinking upon it, and um, you know how brothers bring out about, you know, Esau came over here on a a ship known as a good ship Jesus. Now this is uh, from Quora. It says John Hawkins, a naval commander, in 1564, Queen Elizabeth the first partnered with Hawkins by leasing a huge old 700 ton ship Jesus of Lubbock on which he sent forth set forth on a more extensive voyage along with three small ships Hawkins sailed with his second cousin Francis Drake to the West African coast privateering along the way by the time he left he carried African slaves 400 survived when he reached Fort Burrata on the western Venezuela coast to trade as slaves so there was a ship called Jesus of Lubbock and it delivered slaves for trade to South to now South America. You know? So our people, man, they were met they met, as the scriptures say, in Deuteronomy actually we could get that. Was that Deuteronomy twenty eight? And um I forgot how it talks talks about um It's in Deuteronomy 28. Try to find it. Deuteronomy 28 and 49. The Lord, Yahweh, shall bring a nation against thee from, a, from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth. A nation... Whose tongue thou shalt not understand. And at the at that point in time, we were not speaking English, man. Our people were speaking what? Broken Hebrew, man. Because when you get into uh, Exodus, the 13th chapter, our people uh, escaped captivity under the Syrians to come to the um to uh, North America and serve and serve the Most High. But we know we know that then it happened, which has led up to them going into slavery. All right. But that was the point, man. You know, when you go back to, let's go back to the Isaiah 43 and 14. All right. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, for your sake have I sent to Babylon and have brought down all their nobles and the Chaldeans whose cry is in the ships. All right. And like I said, man, that's where us captivity started in them ships, man. All right. It's something known as a slave trade. Even in school, all right, they, I remember when I was growing up, which I'm not that old, but it goes to prove the point of, of that, even in school, they, they was pushing how, you know, blacks came from slavery, man. All right, blacks came from Africa. It says, I am Yahweh, your holy one, the creator of Israel, your king. Thus saith Yahweh, which maketh a way in the sea and the path in the mighty waters. Which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down, lie down together. They shall not rise. They are a stink. They are a quench as it, as as tow. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing now. It shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a new way in the wilderness and rope and, and rivers in the desert. Alright, so basically the most high how about Shimia was shy. Alright, what's like I said, man, first and foremost, alright, he gave you the prophets, man. Alright? Nobody else is speaking on the downfall and the redemption of the Israelites, man. But us. So that's a way in the desert, man. The scriptures say I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Alright, so do Yahweh Shai. Through the words of Yahweh Shai, we giving our people life, man. We giving our people a uh, uh, strength, as is written of in Ezekiel the thirty-seven. Uh, what's that? The thirty-seven chapter, I believe. All right, speaking to the dry bones, man. All right, so we we basically uh, spiritually putting flesh back on our people. All right, giving them hope. Behold, I will do a new thing now; it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. 
like I said, man, through this through this word, which bringing which uh, pushing more. All right, this World War Three, man. All right, cause through the World War Three, all right, as as it's written, um, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. You know, Esau being a so-called white man. Now in these wars that's been happening, you know, since his, uh, was it 48, 1948 with Israel and the Palestinians and stuff like that, that's going to brew up to the destruction, all right, of America. And not only America, but the, um, all right, the, his, uh, the destruction of Esau's, uh, uh, rulership throughout the whole world, man. This pe uh this people have I formed for myself, they shall shew forth my praise. But thou has not called upon me, O Jacob, but thou hast been weary of me, O Israel. Skip it skip I'm gonna skip down to Verse twenty five I even I am he that blotted out thy transgressions for my own sake. And will not remember thy sins. So this is going into the new uh, covenant, man. When the Most High, all right, through Yahweh Shai, comes back and, and redeems his elect. All right, that's when life starts. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Thy first father have sinned, and thy teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore, I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary. So that's why we're in, in, in uh, captivity now. Because like I said, our people went off. We're yet to stay in the captivity. All right. Because our people went against the Heavenly Father, man. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Deuteronomy 32. Uh, the Most High said he's going to return to his place. And he's going to watch to see what their end is, man. All right. Which our end. All right. Serving a, a so-called white man. All right. Being constantly under bondage. Our people are getting shot down in the street, and you have people that like to say that this is not slavery. Well, what do you call a so-called a number of so-called blacks and Hispanics getting, getting shot down in the streets, man? All right, with their hands up, man. All right, what do you call a number of, of, of legislations being a King Alfred Plan, Rex eighty four? Well, that's the same thing. Um, you know, which is designed, all right, to kill off a lot of our people, man. What do you call that, man? That's called oppression, man. Therefore, I profane the princes. Of the sanctuary and have given Jacob to the curse and Israel to reproaches. All right. So our people should be happy, man. All right. It's this is our back. Um, well, this is Isaiah 41. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, save ye Howard. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. So that's why we even say what? The nukes is our brothers, man. Because they're going to bring us out of this captivity, man. They're going to help bring us out of this captivity, rather, man. That her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. All right? What's your iniquity, man? All right? Being called an African-American, being called a Dominican. All right? You don't see that in the Bible. All right. Your iniquity is 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 uh not knowing the heavenly Father, man. All right. Your iniquity is not having a name, man. And because you don't have the name, therefore the Most High won't hear your prayers. Won't hear your prayers, man. All right. You don't have understanding, man. You don't care to have. You don't care to know the Lord, man. All right. So all praise to you. How about Shimmy Shah? We say that, man. All right. Cause you know through the faith. Through the hope, all right, and just through the, the, the pure mercies of Yahweh by Shimei all right, is it, why World War III is born up, man. All right, why why he's uh, uh saving us, man. All right, because if it wasn't for the Heavenly Father, his mercies, our people would still love it here, man. Our people would still love to be in jail, still love to be shot down in the street, and still not fighting against a uh, uh, wickedness, man. All right, all right, so these the war, the uh, World War III. All right, that's a blessing to us, to Israel. All right, but and, and to the rest of the world, man. It says, "Speak ye comfortably to, comfortably to Jerusalem, and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of Yahweh's hand double 
for all her, sin, all her sins. You know, so the Most High is coming back to save us, man. All right. Let's get that in Isaiah. Let's see. In the midst of these wars, Yahweh is going to come back. Isaiah 13 and 3. I have commanded. Isaiah 13 and 2. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountains. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand, which we do. All right. Not only to Israel, but to these other nations, man. All right. Tell them that, you know, what they did to us was wrong, man. They, they wicked, man. And they're going to pay for it. All right. That they may go into the gates of the nobles, man. And that's why you have now what the these uh so these scoffers are coming up trying coming up against the the Lord man, but if we that's how you know the power is here man because if we if we so if we so base if nobody cares about us why are you sending scoffers and agents to stop the word man? All right because they know this book has power. All right it says and the nobles all right being the elites that run this society, I've commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. All right. And we go out there boldly, proudly, man, saying that the so-called white man is going down. That's considered treason. But we still do it because the spirit of the heavenly father have, have uh, put on us to do it. Like I said, the more we go out there, the more prophecies are speeding up, man. All right. The more we speak on the chip, the more it's happening. The more we speak on, uh, speak on uh, you know, earthquakes, more earthquakes are going to come to this place. The more we pray for is happening, man. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. Talking about all these other nations, going, uh, you know, going down to uh, uh, Yahweh's uh, uh, judgment. All right. Down there in, um, in the Middle East to receive their judgment from the Heavenly Father. Yahweh of hosts must have the host of the battle. They come from a far country from the end of heaven. Even Yahweh. And the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. All right. Because the scriptures say in Isaiah, I believe it's 54, how uh, the Most High created the smith. All right. So he put the spirit on these, these uh, heathen uh, nations to create, um, you know, nuclear weapons. That's why you got in Joel 3, man. In different scriptures, where, how, how it speaks about how they're going to uh, uh, beat their uh, plowshares and the pruning hooks. Let the weak say I am strong. All right. So that's why you got uh North Korea, you know, proud uh, up there, proud Russia, proud man. All right, cause they got they got the weapons of the Lord's indignation, man. Them nukes. All right. Therefore, shall all hands be fate, and every man's heart shall melt. Mm -hmm. All right. So, like I said, man, the Lord is coming back. All right, the Lord is coming back, man, and, and our people should be happy, you know. These other nations, damn sure, are going to be happy. Revelation 19 and 1. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Alleluia. Basically meaning um, all praises, salvation, and glory, and honor, and power unto the Lord our power, Israel. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he have judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornication and hath avenged the blood of his saints at her hand. All right. Numbers 35 and 33. The blood of the land cannot be cleansed by the blood, but by the blood of him that spilt that blood. All right. So these, these devils are going to pay, man. They're going to pay. And again, they said, Hallelujah. And her smoke rose up forever and ever. All right. Because 200 million missiles got to hit this place, man. That's overkill. But that's the that's how, how pissed off the Lord is, man. Because you touch the apple to the most high's eye. And again, they said, Hallelujah. And her smoke rose up forever and ever. Um, skipping to verse. Six, and I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude 
and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. You know? So the elect right now is making themselves ready, man. All right? Preparing for the Heavenly Father. All right? Yahweh. All right? To send his son, Yahweh, shot back, man. All right? To bring death, destruction upon this place and redemption. So with that, I hope brothers edified. Shalom, Israel.